Hello friends, today's tutorial will be based on how we can separate the login section for the front end from that of the back end. Now I want to log in from the front end. I'm automatically logged in here. Go to the back end and refresh. It's still asking me to log in here. So I can still log in with the same login details that I used at the front end. Not something. I'm logged I'm logged in separately at the back end and separately at the front end. And some of you could actually be having a scenario whereby once you're logged in at the front end, automatically logs in at the back end. So we need to separate the login session or the login table for the front end and the back end because both login details of the front end and that of the back end is coming from the same table in U2 advanced database. So to get started, let me log out at the back end and also log out at the front end. So to get started, I'll need to copy this table. I'll need to export, I'll click on custom and via as text. Instead of that, um, downloading as a file, I rather Let me copy both the structure and structure and data. I'll highlight all and copy. I already have um, admin table here. Let me remove this. So the text I copied from there and go, I need to click on SQL and paste here. Now pasting it, I'll need to rename my table name from user to admin. Good. So now I now have um, two database, one for the admin and two um, table, one for the admin, one for the user. So the admin will be the back end, while the user will be the front end. So for us to be sure of the cut, um, the login details, I prefer to change this name here from Femi to Femi back, or let's say admin. The username will be admin, while the password still remains the same. So if I should log in at the front end, Femi and program, now I'm currently logging in at the back end, at the front end. So now I'm trying to log in at the back end, I can still log in with the same details. But if I should, let's assume I change this to admin, it's not going to make any effect because such record does not exist. Let me log in with the front end, long details. Now it works. So I'm going to log out and at the both side and go to my code. So now from this end, one thing we need to change is we need to change where our backend session is running from, which is from backend config, then you click on main. Now the session for the backend is actually running from this, which is the user, from this place. This will make our changes. So I will need to change the name of our model to admin. Currently we have um, user, we change it to admin. Then we will now go to our config file, to our common model, which is here. I will copy this 
and paste. So I will rename my as uh, admin. This also I'll copy. I'll copy and paste. It's going to be admin login form. So starting with the admin model, I'll need to change necessary login details there. I mean admin um, the table details here, which is the table name will be admin. Yeah, that's all we have to do here. Now go to admin login form, which is what you need to include in, uh, in a login controller. So I need to add admin in our namespace, in our class name right there. Um, I need to change this, get user from user to admin. For you to be sure you are connecting to the right uh, admin, they are using Newsphere uh, or Newsphere or um, PHP Storm. So once you hold your control and click on it, automatically it takes you to where the class is actually is. Currently, I'm clicking on it, but it's not going where it says cannot find declaration. It means the class is not included. So what I need to do is I'll need to do it this way. Um, I'll need to use common um, models and admin. So if I hold my control, click on this. Hold on. Let's go to our login and try. No, before we continue, let's go to our login controller for the backend. This is the login, so we'll change this to admin. And change this to admin as well. So let's give it a try. Let me log in to admin. Now it says unable to find common models admin in this place. Next space missing. Yes. So this is what we we'll need to do. In our admin here, we need to rename a class name from user to admin automatically we are logged in so this is how you separate the login details from the front end to the back end while our front end login is still what we are using before let's say we log out and try admin here it's not going to work. So it's not going to work because that's a separate table. So now we'll use Femi. You know, so this is how you um, log in, separate the login section of the front end from that of the back end. Just in case some of you could actually once could actually be having issue whereby once you log in at the front end automatically logs in at the back end so you just need to make sure that um, the session name is different meaning this session name here make sure that the name you have here is different from the name you have at the session name of the front end good 